Hey everyone and welcome to Noah's Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we are going to be doing our weekly check-in, a paycheck to paycheck for some. Um, let's get into it. So if this is something you'd be interested in, please stick around and let's go. Okay, you guys. So we got a lot going on in our little budget planner. Um, last week we used the new paycheck to paycheck uh, breakdown, um, weekly check-in. Let me get to it. I'm so sorry. Um, that was the 9th through the 15th. Um, we're just going to go over that really quickly. Um, I didn't bring my other planner, but we did more in here. This was, wait a minute, this was the rough draft. Hold on. But we did pay T-Mobile, Carnote, um, Capital One, we gave 35 to. Um, we didn't pay the P.O. Box. We're going to push that to the end of the month. And we did do our booth rent. And then we paid our after pay. Um, we actually ended up putting 230 no, 380 into our challenge. And I believe we put 28 into our other challenge. Um, gas didn't get anything this week. Um, eating out didn't get anything. Self-care did get 25. And I can't read my own hand products. Products didn't get anything. Miscellaneous got the 80. Well, I spent it. I didn't put it in the envelope. Um, and then I did get a card from my husband. And I didn't do taxes. So that's August 9th through the 15th. I think I had another one somewhere. I probably took it in and out, in and out. Oh, so here is, here is the original. Um, let's see. I got to add up. I think we did 900. The actual, I'm going to come back and double check that so I don't have to white it out. Um, I think we went over this and Shopify was... Um, pretty close because it was broken up and miscellaneous was i think that was close as well so i will double check those and i will update this off camera so i don't hold you guys up i have two of those because one of them was a rough wrap so we'll use this one okay so this week is i think this is the third week let me look at my calendar get to it so this week is the um, 16th through the really 23rd I'm doing Sunday to Sunday this week will not be that much and this is week number three okay this week will be kind of slow because um i do leave to go on vacation i got a lot of things going on so we're going to put down here as our source and it'll probably pretty much be our only source um we do have something coming in from shopify and i'm going to project it at a hundred and then hair, I'm just going to go real, real low because, like I said, this week is very limited. I'm going to put 550. And so we have a total of $650 that we're working with this week. Actually, that's not right. Hold on. I have something coming in. I'm going to do at 700. Um, and then this will be 800. Okay, so we're working with $800 this week. If that, and I'm over here looking at what I have coming up this week. Um, we have on the 17th. We have Citibank. And they are roughly like $29. So I'll put 30. 
we have Barclays. Um, they're doing the 18th, but I kind of paid them when I paid Citibank. And I know I owe them 84. I'm going to just put 85 because I would give them more, but I'm going on vacation. T-Mobile is due on the 18th. I can't spell today. And that will be 269. Insta Ink on the 19th. And that's like 19.99, but I'll put 20. Car note due on the 20th. This was not a good week <laughs> to go on vacation. This is car note number two, and it is 181.60. And team um, that I have on the 20th as well is my Navy Federal Credit Union loan. And that's 96.11. T-Mobile is due again on the 21st, but you won't be getting anything. And that's that. Okay, let's do some calculating. $681.71. I'm going to just redo this since I messed up. 30 plus. So our total is $681.71. So that's what we have. Um, I'm just going to put down here in the notes. Um, Vegas trip. Um, nothing is going into the sinking funds that I know of. Not doing anything towards debt. Um, cash envelopes. I don't think so. It don't look like we're going to have enough. <laughs> so um, now let's subtract this. First, let's subtract these two. 681 subtracted by, that'll be $118.29 that we have left. And so more than likely, this will go um, to miscellaneous or with me to Vegas. I think I'm going to split that up. Divided by 2, 59, 145. So, I'm going to put that into miscellaneous. 59, 14, really 15. 59, 15. And then, um, Okay, let's total that back up and we know what that is. So we're back to our 118.30, which is that. And so we are at zero based budget. So that's pretty much our weekly check-in this week. Um, I'm trying to see if there's something I can go ahead and pay. I'm going to go ahead and get Barclays out of the way. I'm going to pay them on tomorrow because I'm putting the money in the bank um, tomorrow for them. I took that out of my cash envelope stuff, and I'll try to remember to put that in the card so you all can see um, what I stuffed this week. And uh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what they um, and I really feel like I'll have more. Um, that's it. And I'm going to put down here in the notes as well, things I need to get for like my trip. I need some tra travel size. 
See already I'm spinning the miscellaneous travel size items like toothpaste and you know stuff like that. Um but that's that. So six hundred and eighty one dollars and I know last week we did about six hundred and twenty. So I'm paying like twelve hundred no twenty four hundred dollars in bills a month. I cannot wait to be able to pay off some of this credit. Let me zoom y'all out. Um, I cannot wait to pay off some of this credit because it is just killing me. The Barclays, oh, when I come back, we are definitely focusing on Barclays. Um, y'all, that's my weekly check-in. Let's go through here and our monthly view. Let me put my pen back. Well, I'll leave it out. Um, let's go through the monthly view. Let's see what we have to mark off. We did anniversary. I didn't do P.O. Box. I'm going to P.O. Box to, um, let me get a page flag. Hold on. I need one big enough I can see it. And I'm going to put a note to myself. So when I look in here. It's not due um, it's due by the 31st. But I did, it did get a note in my appeal to pay it on the 15th, but I have to the 31st. So I'm going to just stall it out to the 31st. If there's something extra, I'll pay it. I'll make a note of it right there. Okay, so let's see what... Everything was paid for last week. I have paid extra on T-Mobile. Give Barclays $50 a week. Um, payday, auto pay, uh, Vegas travel money. We, we've taken care of that. And I got pay bills before I leave. So um, I had 686 total. I don't know what that is for. Maybe it's this stuff here. Yeah, okay, so I got a total 686, but it's really 681. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Maybe it's something else I don't know. Um, so we already know T Mobile is past due. I got one of my past due stickers there. Um, good God, I can't believe this. Like, this is too much. Um, I'm definitely going to pay this before I go. Uh, and there's nothing really I can pay today. I can go ahead and set up the payments for this, like I said, for, because that's Tuesday, Lord Jesus. Okay, so y'all, that's it. Um, that is my paycheck to paycheck, weekly check in. So I'm guesstimating, like I said, um, 800, but sometimes it's more. Um, but, just never know. When you're self-employed, you never know. Shopify could jump up, which I doubt, um, because I only had like a small release this week. Um, we did make some money, um, not a lot. So that's why I have this 100, because then I'll be getting it on Monday, what I made last week, which wasn't a lot. So, um, well, Tuesday. So that's that. So if you have any questions about my weekly check-in or my process for budgeting, please let me know. Um, I would love to help you out in the comments section. And if today was your first time watching any of my content and you enjoyed today's video, or you just want to see a little bit more of how I budget um, being self-employed, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.